This is Sheree with Rehash Fiber. Today, I'm gonna to tell you how to make these really cool bags. All right, everybody. I have a couple of great bags here that are very doable for you to make and use. So much fun. This is my project bag. I wove it, I use it all the time, and every time I use it, somebody comments about how much they like it. And I like it too. I love that it stands up so that my projects are in here, I can reach for them, I can see them. Uh, it's just really fun, of course, to make something and then use it yourself. It's just, there's a lot of joy in that, okay? So what I wanna do is explain to you how it's done. These are both woven bags. Now, I have never done it with knitting or crochet, but you probably could. The whole concept is you need a long rectangle. Then the size of your bag, when you fold the rectangle in half, that is your bag. So you can make it as big or as little as you want, as you can see here. Now for weaving, you can see I just knotted my ends and let, cut them and let them dangle here. How fun is that? I thought I'd add that little thing there. Here, I went ahead and finished the edges and then sewed it with the lining so that it's hidden. So I would have this nice edge here. This bag is just on standby as a gift to somebody. So I wanna let you know how it's done. You create your rectangle, whether it's woven or whatever, to the size you want. Once it's off, you need to iron on fusible interfacing. I use the very stiff double-sided interfacing. That way you can see how hard this is. It will stand up on its own. That's why these can stand. The reason it's double-sided adhesive is that I can put the lining on the other side and iron it all together. Once the yarn is secured with the interfacing and the lining, then you can do some cutting if it's necessary. Before I cut, I usually stitch along each side of where I'm gonna cut so that I'm sure nothing unravels. So basically what you're doing is you're making like a nice lane, <laughs> sewing on either side so that when you cut, it will only go if it unravels as far as to those stitches. That's just a safety measure that I do. However, I don't believe I had to do any cutting on these. So once you have that all together, you're going to stitch up the sides. I have just a little bit of fabric here to show you because I do not have a bag in process right now and I'm not going to have any bags very soon. So I'm using the demo things that I could come up with. You have your bag inside out. You sew up the sides. Then to make this nice squared off bottom so your bag will stand up, you need to sew a triangle out of the side. Then when you turn it inside out and work the corners, you will have a nice bottom like so. This is what it's like on the inside. I also want to mention if you need to add a little firmness to the bottom of your bag, you can find sheets of this plastic at your local big craft stores. And then you can cut it to size for the bottom of your bag. So I did need it for the bottom of this one. So then it just slides in under the triangles that you made when you were sewing it to start with. Then you can attach the handles. You can use whatever handles you would like. I like leather handles because they last long. They look good. They're soft enough, but sturdy enough. And I do believe I ordered a set, as you can see. I knew purple was gonna go with both. You can find those online. You just Google handles and you'll find them. So just a little bit more about each bag. This one, I had a bunch of thin yarn left over from a project that I did want to use up. The colors were so much fun and I thought, how am I ever going to use it? So I was talking to Jane at Fiber Art Gallery, my local yarn shop, and she suggested that I run quite a few strands through before I move the heddle. Then I can change it, and so that way there were thicker lines there, which made it look really cool. This bag is well used, there's some snags in it, but it's a lot of fun. This one 
It was a fabulous yarn from Fiber Art Gallery called Bamboo Bloom from Universal Yarn. Look at how fun this is. And this is the perfect yarn for something like this. You have all these varieties. It was a blast to weave with. So that's it for the bags. I hope you enjoy it if you make one. And if you do, I would love to see a picture and I may even share it on the show. All right, let's talk Patreon. It is time for a shout out to Kelly Fazgus. She is a $3 a month supporting member. Woo, go Kelly, thank you so much. A little collector's pin will be on the way to her very soon. So if you're enjoying the programming, you can go to my website or to Patreon and do rehash fiber and you can give just as little as two or three bucks a month and it helps keep the programming going. All right, that's it for today. Happy bag making and thanks for watching.